Growing up in Virginia Beach, Sean McLean says you face two options. Back there, you either bang nails or flip burgers, so. McLean chose the latter, paving his future in a variety of kitchens. But it wasn't until he spent a couple of years in California that he developed what he would later call Mexicali cuisine. A little more freshness, a little more color, a little less of the same old, you know, bean slop with melted cheese. About 15 years ago, he brought that concept to Richmond, opening Bandito's Burritos, a Mexican fusion restaurant and bar located in a renovated garage. We have what I would consider, and a lot of people around here I think would also consider, the best of the most homemade, traditional tamales, chili rellenos. That's the Mexi side. The Cali side finds a variety of non-traditional burritos. There are colorful tortillas with all sorts of fillings from, you know, filet mignon to shrimp, vegetarian. Uh, they're not at all classically Mexican. They're just sort of little inventions using these components to make something more interesting that I just sort of bastardly call Mexicali chow. And many are named for McLean's favorite songs. Oh, Lord, stuck in low die again. The Voodoo Idol. It's a, one of my favorite cramped songs. The Blue Moon, Elvis Presley. Thank you, thank you very much. The music references are no surprise, just a reflection of McLean's other passion. In fact, the former punk rocker reserves Sunday nights for live local bands. Mostly punk rock, rockabilly, avant-garde sometimes. I never make any money on music and I don't care. I never miss a Sunday night. Different components similar to music night have evolved over time. Bandito's, for instance, has 18 TVs for sports and karaoke night. I have gotten so many friends to come up and meet us for drinks um, on a Wednesday night for a happy hour. I'm like, look, we're always here about 6, 6.30. We usually leave by 9, usually. Here, I like to think that there's something for everybody. What you get here is you get aging punk rockers like myself. You get people in business suits catching happy hour. You get the uh, construction crews that come in for happy hour for cheap tacos and nice cold Tecate. You get a, a, a young VCU U of R type dance crowd on the weekends. Sunday brunch has become popular with families. I have a four-year-old son myself, so that has something to do with me getting a little more interested in making that more of a reality. McLean is the first to admit he couldn't pull all this off without his co-workers, including a heavily inked bar staff that was voted Richmond's sexiest. This place is built on cults of personalities. Uh, Otto, Jason, uh, Mark, Kristen, Tara, I mean, they're all just, you know, really charismatic individuals that bring people in to see us. They are the ultimate bartenders ever, they're the best ever. The people that work here are usually here for a long, long time because it's, it's really, it feels like a family here. It's kind of a cliche, but here it's more true. I've worked in a lot of places. It's very true here. Everybody cares about each other here, and we all look out for each other, and it, it feels good. Rock and roll, baby. It's no different in the kitchen. Luis Roman is my best line cook right here. This is Hector. He does all the really homemade traditional stuff in a way that I could never. I'm just a silly white guy that likes to put things in burrito wrappings and call it Mexicali chow. Homemade chili relleno, two-day process from scratch. extra cheesy and delish. I'm a huge fan of the quesadillas. The crawfish quesadilla is the best I've ever had. A lot of times I might just get a salad or I'll do the dollar tacos, which are awesome. The Godfather burrito is one of my favorites. I, I don't believe our quality has ever faltered. I don't believe it's ever gone backwards. I do believe that we keep getting better with time. So service and food quality, forget music, forget dance nights, forget tattoos. It's quality of service, quality of food period.